Ladies and gents, welcome back to the Age of Empires 4 action. It's been a while, which means we've got to kick off again with something special. It's Micromaps, and I've even got a guest joining me on the mic. Welcome, welcome everyone, and we're back. Starting off here with Micromaps. I'm sure lots of you are going to be looking forward to this, because we're starting off here on Micro Grove. KP, look at this kind of stupid map. I, I mean, they are very stupid. You really outdone it with your levels of stupid here. Uh, we've put together a series of maps. I say we. Merlin done the heavy lifting on this, and you are seeing it right. The crazy wild men are back, giving their blessings. And here yeah. to take us through this wild experience, we've got two familiar faces. Uh, the noob that just yeah, lost his scout. Recon, man. Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> and in his way, the person who just claimed that scout, it's Corvinus. What a wacky two to get together for this. Have you seen what Recon's already done on the right-hand side of the map? Oh my god. He, he took out two Vils with the archers. English, oh English, god. such a good pick on this map with the bows. Dude, that's that's insane. That's a fair point, right? Because like someone to highlight this map, you saw them kind of begging the wild men there. It's because they get that buff, right? They get the, the increased gather rate by 300%. And Recon, what a clever little cookie here, man. Like going out with the bows, you're going to get that mid-map aggression. Whereas on some other micro maps that we have coming up, these English bows not, might not be able to find a target, right? Oh, oh that dude, was so smart. So, wild. so Corvinus <laughs> has actually managed to get two of his workers with the uh, plus 300% buff. Mm -hmm. But I believe Recon... I mean, he makes it up for the extra vills that he's got. But I believe he's also got two. I'm, I'm currently looking through his vills. I see... I got one I see here, three. Two. I see three. Yeah, I think you're right. Okay, that... Let me double check. Actually, I've, I can't. Guys, stop moving. Stop gathering. God, dude. <laughs> I can. I think it is three. Yeah, yeah, he's got three. Okay, that is wild. So recon is not only two villages ahead. Actually, three because Corvinus seems to have eco gaps here. He also yeah. has the increased buff rate, right? Because remember, this this basically means so it's plus three hundred percent, right? So each villager with that is four villages, right? Uh, I believe so. Yeah. That's wild. That is actually crazy. Like, I, you know, we we test. Like, I think I think like this got tested a little bit by you uh, beforehand. I imagine that's a good idea. Um, how often did whoever had uh, whoever had the most buffed villagers just win the game? I would say it, it doesn't sell the game completely, mm -hmm. but it definitely gives that player a huge advantage. And I mean, Recon's playing English as well. A civilization which I would think is pretty good on micro maps because of longbow. Small map, obviously, uh, very easy to get to the opponent's base with a very immobile army. Um, but for the English, it can be a little bit of a problem when it comes to wood. Obviously, not a lot of wood on this map, and English do heavily rely on uh, on a good wood economy to supply the longbow. Now, now, the fair point to it, though, is like you don't necessarily need a lot of Lombos to dominate on this map, right? Like, it's a very small map. And you can do a lot of damage with a handful. And, I mean, the surprising part is credit to him. Corvinus isn't really that far behind in his tech up timing. That kind of surprises me considering the villager losses and the fact that Recon got more buffed villagers. So, not too bad for him. Love the fact that they're both playing with this. These things are so bloody annoying. The enchanted stags, they take... <laughs> like, how many shots is it? It's like... It's, it's a lot of shots. It's like 30, <laughs> 34 shots. <laughs> yeah. Get a free damage. <laughs> oh, my I God. I think uh, for Recon, it was a lot easier because he's got the, the bows. I believe they do more... Do they do more damage? I don't think so. Not, not from villages. Like, I think it's the same from both. Actually, I'm not sure if maybe... I think the... Oh, yeah, you're right, actually. It's two extra damage, so three compared to the five. I never think about that, because why would you think about that, right? Like, it never matters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so painful. And, and keep in mind, by the way, Recon clubbed them down already, like, because he didn't get greedy. He went for one. Um, whereas Corvinus pushed in three, and Recon still gets the first one killed, despite the fact that Recon lost his scout at the beginning of the game. That's wild. So true, yeah. Uh, Corvinus has got the first one down in his base. Second one and third one are being kept underneath that TC. Where have Recon's gone? Are, th are they all the way out in the, the center of the map? Um, It looks like uh, he's got one kind of situated next to the council, right? Um, But I think Corvinus yeah. just had like one kind of patrol towards the base and the other came from the other side. Like, I don't know. It looks a bit weird. I can't... Unless he... 
already clubbed one down. He's just been that much of a killer. We just didn't even notice. But now Cor Corvinus, oh. Yeah, Corvinus had to rush up that tower. Lots of villager idle time right there. Especially with Corvinus behind on eco right now. Not what he needs. But Corvinus does have the option to go for javelin throwers. Which is going to be a nice little counter here to the longbow. But honestly, in this position, I think Recon can just sort of take map control here. We can see he's going for that outpost next to the boar. I would assume he's looking to uh, to grab that food source. And with the longbow, you can just sort of camp out Corvinus here. Keep him confined in this little corner. Obviously, Corvinus does have quite a lot of resources in the base, considering this is a micro map. He's got two, uh, two wood lines, some berries, stone, gold. So he's got everything he needs. Uh, to get to age three or whatever he plans on doing. But... <laughs> whoa, whoa, age three? I, I, I mean, fairness, he does have one spot for that landmark, but you're maybe getting a bit ambitious there, Berlin. That's a I long mean, way away. I mean, you could rush the for Rimba, possibly? If you, if you keep control of the, the gold vein. Well, well what, what, why? I, did you, like, why is Recon not here? I, I can't believe Corman has just got that outpost <sighs> up, like, that shouldn't have been happening, surely. No. Uh, also, is Recon... He's just stopped building the outpost. Yeah, I... I... <laughs> wait, oh, wait, okay. He's he, gone he, for he instead. Hear me out. Hear me out. Recon's brain is like, yo, I could... Or I could just get Castle Age quicker. And then I get a better outpost in the center. How about that? Mm -hmm. True, true. Yeah, white, white Tower could be very nice in the middle here. And we see their longbow. One of them did go down to the boar. A villager almost went down as well, and I does that outpost now no longer go up once Aristlitz comes in? I it shouldn't, right? And the, the crafty thing Corbin has done here, by the way, you mentioned javelins. Like he hasn't got the the pit mine because that's a bit chunk. Like it's a bit weird on these maps. It doesn't always work on the different chunks. Um, but something to keep in mind is like he stored just enough gold, and he's been gathering stone. Like he's just going full outpost spam here. It's like the reverse does it go models. Up? <laughs> does it go up? Oh my Aristlitz god! Oh my god! In. Oh my god! The villager. <laughs> No, oh, Recon. I feel like he just pulled Vils, right? Pull, pull three. Oh uh, yeah, he's going Vils. there. He, he's going to the rally. Like it, he literally just has to touch it once. Like look at the HP on it. Like as long as you just pull away, love that. Goes in with the longbow first, baits aggro, gets away. Nice. <laughs> yeah, but Recon's not going to be able to push any further forward here with the with the outpost. I, I think his original goal was to try and deny away this gold vein, but yeah, no chance that's happening anymore. You know, you know, what I realized, like, especially after the way this map opened, is like legit. We have to keep the intro so damn short <laughs> because it's all happening so fast, right? Like, it, it's crazy. Like, Recon, despite the fact he's playing ball, he's got the stags, he's also setting up farms, which it, it's kind of weird, but at the same time, I kind of feel okay with it, right? Because you are playing English, they're so cheap. Yeah, I, I would love to see him move out towards the, the further <laughs> forward woods now because. You can see Woods are already starting to run pretty low in the base. And if Corvinus can somehow pull this back together, start establishing some more map control, Recon's going to be looking a little bit rough when it comes to Wood. So I'd like to see him move out. And I think that's what he's planning to do now as he moves towards the right side of the map. I don't know if we're playing AoE or a tower defense game, but I guess sometimes AoE does just become a tower defense game. Another one going up on the right side now from Recon. And... It's kind of wild because it's a decent solution against these jabs, right? Like, sure, they have a lot of armor, but so does the outpost. <laughs> like, I know who's going to win that battle if they fight. You think Recon could possibly be trying to capture up sacred sites here for a possible sacred site victory? I mean, looking at the macro right now, he's, he's back onto gold, mm -hmm. which could be for a castle age. Sticking a white tower on one of these sacred sites it's could be... Uh... Yeah, it could be good. It's, it's what I've been... Like, remember when he didn't get that outpost up? I was like, maybe we just get a white tower down. I mean, there's room for it. Corvinus doesn't want to come out. And, like, <laughs> keep in mind, this is not like your broken Malians. I mean, he's got cattle, right? But, like, where do you... A where lot would, of cattle. Where, where do you put a Fulani? <laughs> like, you can't place a Fulani back here. So, And he can't for Rimba because the he can't place the pit, paint, uh, the pit mine, right? Otherwise, he can't gather gold. So, like, this mm, is a yeah. really weird position for Corvinus to find himself in. Um, he looks more stuck than this chicken. He does have the gold coming in from the, the Mansacori. <laughs> yeah, the chicken. Chilling on the gold mine right there. And speaking of gold mines, there's only four gold mines on the map. 
one in each player's base and then two in the middle of the map so gold is really limited on this map two sacred sites and four relics so less than your standard map so for the marlians micro maps aren't the greatest when it comes to uh to what they need for their economy Mount Square is oh, going to be helping out with you, that. But. You know what's not good for the Malians? A Ram when you've only built Javelins? Oh, oh my god. Has, has Recon just kind of... Just, he may have decided this. Like, uh, Corbin is... Oh, yeah. He hasn't what built... I mean, he hasn't built stables. Like, Do we have textiles in? We've got textiles in. Corvinus could pull Vils here to just try and burn that down before... You're I gonna mean... lose so many. Yeah, those Longbow. They've got the plus one attacking as well. And like Mimo on the other side, Undermesh isn't there yet for Corminus. So check this, the Longbows actually trade well against the Javs. And that that's his whole army. Like, Corvinus, he's out of food as well. He hasn't been clubbing cows. I I think he might just be dead. I think so. I mean, Corvinus has got Iron Undermesh coming in now, but that's still 20 seconds away and his whole army is dead. I feel like just saving your army and waiting for that Iron Undermesh to come in would have been would have been the, the play here. I mean, sure, you, you lose your outpost, but... You, you've lost your whole army, and it looks like what? you're going to be losing this outpost anyway. What are we doing? Like, Corvin is... <laughs> it's okay, dude. He's going to die, but he's going to make sure that the cow people uh, rise in the Malian ruins, right? Like, he's built eight cattle here. He's gathering berries. Did Corvin is just, like, re... I, he must have watched a documentary on cows, man. Like, he's going full vegan. I. He's going for the stampede. Mm, that's true. Release, release bisons. That's very smart. Like, he does need a melee unit. Maybe they can deliver. But this is... I mean, two rams. He kept this outpost alive, right? But he lost an extra four villages in the process. And oh, no. I've just noticed something. Have a look at Recon's bank right now. Oh, God. No, no, don't do could, it to could him. We don't see, do it to could him. we see a control shift A into Corvinus' base? Mm, I, I think guess he, not. He's, it's no, been decided. It's, Recon. He's, it's he's on getting, the sacred site. He's not going to go full monkey mode on this, so... But, he, I mean, he basically has been as ape as he needs to be in this one. Like, this game is impossible for Corvinus. Is... <laughs> and I, I guess someone that should be highlighted, right, is, like, on these micro maps, English does seem like a, a, a smart, logical choice, right? Like, someone that should be really strong. And I, I believe Marlins is one of the civs that does tend to run into issues on the micro maps, right? Because some things they can't interact with properly. Mm pit mines yeah it yeah. can be a little bit of a rough one and also just limited gold in the first place even if pit mines could be used Corvinus would only be limited to the one this game anyway yeah like well you maybe get the two but like you're gonna have to fight for that is the whole point right where naturally a lot of maps you kind of have a backup option safely he doesn't have that here i, mean, I just <laughs> he <laughs> Corvin is like i don't blame him man castle age comes out he finally realized he needs to get some stakes but he has no stake to claim in this game. First match is going to be going to Corvinus. But don't worry, folks. This is a BO5 that we're having them play. It's going to be more coming. And, you know, if you hadn't subscribed to the channel already and weren't convinced by the fact that it's a BO5, this is what we've got coming up next. So like, subscribe, comment down below. And let us know how you think this one's going to play out.